Hello everyone, my name is Evo and welcome to Cooking with the Koyas. So glad you joined me because today folks I'd like to share with you how I make my pork roast. This recipe is absolutely delicious. It's as close to Italian porchetta as you're going to get. Let's get started right now. So here I have a beautiful pork roast. This is a shoulder roast. It's actually a boneless one and it's the shoulder butt uh, roast and it's five and a half pounds. So what we have to do, we got to season this up first. So I've got my, my oven preheating to 300 degrees. While it's preheating, we're going to season up this pork roast. And to do so, we're going to want to use a half a teaspoon of salt per pound of meat. And just take your salt and spread it evenly all around. I'll do the one side, do the other side. Also do the ends. Don't want to forget about them. Okay, do the other end. The seasoning is very, very important, folks. And we'll use the rest of our salt. Okay, so we've added our half teaspoon of salt per pound. Now what we're going to do is add paprika. Now the paprika we're going to add is basically one teaspoon for every pound and a half of meat. So I've already got my paprika pre-measured. And same thing. We'll do that side. We'll do the other side. All around. Do the ends. Okay. And a little more paprika. Pre measuring also helps. There we go. Pork roast loves seasonings. Okay. All right. So we've got our salt, we've got our paprika. Next is the important ingredient roasted pepper and garlic spice. So take this and I'm going to say sprinkle it all around to taste. So a little bit all around. This is a delicious spice and it adds a nice flavor to our pork roast. So don't get too carried away because there's also a bit of salt in here too. So just, you know, lightly sprinkle all around a little bit of that spice. Next, we've got some thyme. So this also, you're just going to sprinkle a little bit. I'm going to say a little bit around to taste, a little bit of thyme all around to taste. So if you like a little more, add a little more. You like a little less, add a little less. I like to just sprinkle a bit all around. Yeah, maybe we'll put some on the ends here too. What do you think? Oops. Okay. And let's do the other end. We can get it without falling over. There we go. Okay. All right. So we've got our time. And now what we're going to do is we're going to add some sage. And again, you're going to add sage to taste. So I'm just going to sprinkle a little bit of sage all around. Not too, too much. I don't want it overpowering. And a little bit on the end. So there we go. Sage to taste as well. All right. As for our spices, that's it. Our pork roast is now spiced up beautifully and ready for, we're going to put it in the Dutch oven and we're going to, we're going to uh, brown up the edges a bit. So let's do that right now. So here we are, one of my most favorite places in the house, at the stove. <laughs> okay. And we're just going to put a little bit of olive oil in the bottom. And all we want to do here is just sear the outside edges of this pork roast. That's all we're going to do here. So I've got the 
stove on medium high and we'll bring that up to temperature and let's brown let's get this all browned on all sides okay we have a little sizzle going so let's see what we've got oh there we go just browned a little bit very nice so we'll brown that side up a bit and we're just sealing in all the juices right now and these shoulder roasts these pork shoulder roasts folks they've got extra fat this is going to be really really juicy you could do this with any of course pork roast that you want but the shoulder is prime okay let's brown that side up a bit alrighty it's been about a minute or so and we should be able to safely turn this let's see oh yeah let's just do a little bit on the edge here Okay, and now that's the side that we seared earlier, and we'll do the other end as well. Just another 30 seconds, just to sear it and lock those juices in. Okay, that should do it. There we go. So now we're going to have, we can turn the heat off, and for this part here, we're going to leave the skin side facing upwards, so all that fat will drip down and into and all around this beautiful pork roast okay now to that we are going to add I've got a half of an onion here it happens to be a red one you could use any onion at all basically you want one small onion or if it's larger then you want a half and that's what I have here and I'm just going to slice it up into quarters and we're going to Add the onion. That's going to cook up and become part of our gravy when all is said and done. And I cut up some potatoes. Some I left the skin on, some I didn't. And we are going to just, this is optional, the potatoes. Um, I like to have the potatoes cook with the pork roast. They get a great flavor from all those juices and whatnot. Yeah, just sprinkle them all around. There we go. So this roast is now ready to go into our preheated oven. So what you're going to want is a uh, food thermometer. Okay, uh, there's all kinds of different ones out there. This one's uh, really good. You're going to want to set it to 180 degrees Fahrenheit. I have a different one here that I'm going to use. And I see the thickest part is kind of here. So I'm going to want the temperature probe to go right in there right in the middle so let's get it right into the thickest part of the pork roast right there okay so we want that to hit 180 degrees internal temp yes it's going to be well done and yes it's going to be delicious let's put it in the oven okay and yes you're going to want to cook this with the lid on there we go we are all set Close our oven door and let's see how long it takes us to hit the 180 degree uh, Fahrenheit internal temp typically folks this part ranges depends on your oven uh, depends on uh, if the pork was at room temp or not when you put it in so many different factors but it's going to be about 30 minutes per pound cooking time could be as low as 20, could be as much as 40, but if you aim around 30 minutes, that gives you an idea. Thereabouts, plus or minus. Okay, let's let this cook. Now we can sit and relax, have a cup of coffee, and let this slow roast do its thing. We hit our 180. Okay, and it's just in time because it's 5.30 right now. So, oh boy. Out of the oven we come. If I can squeeze it out of here. Okay. There we go. Oh wow, it looks good. And there are plenty of juices inside here. Come and take a look. Oh yes, take a look at that folks. Oh, that's gonna be so juicy and tender. I know it already look at the juices there okay we're gonna take that out we're gonna let that relax now for oh up to a half an hour uh, let's take those potatoes out we're 
We're going to remove the potatoes and we're going to serve them with our pork roast. Uh, and we're going to leave the onions in because that's what we're going to use to make our gravy. Okay, now that's going to rest. I'm just going to tent that. Just a piece of foil. You don't want to enclose it. Just tent it like that. Okay, so now as you can see here, that's a little warm. We have all these beautiful juices. Look at there. And the onion. So, with an immersion blender, what we're going to do is we're going to blend all that together because that, folks, is full of flavor. And now, to thicken this gravy up a bit, what I have here is I have two tablespoons of cornstarch that I've added to four tablespoons of water. So it's a two to one ratio, cornstarch to water. And that is going to help thicken our gravy. In fact, I'm going to heat it up and bring it up to a boil. And we're going to let that simmer and thicken right up. Okay, you can see, look at how it's thickening up, folks. Very, very nicely. Look at the color to it. This gravy is going to be super, super delicious. Looky there. So, let's take the tent off. Oh, looky there. Alrighty. Remove the string. There we go. Okay, let's slice this up. I like to slice it in, you know, half inch pieces. Oh, look at that. Look at the juices. I don't know if you can tell how juicy that is, folks, but. Oh, wow. Look at this. This is going to be so flavorful. In fact, that's picture worthy right there. Let's grab a quick photo and then we're gonna do the taste test. Oh my goodness, folks. My absolute favorite part. Take a look at that. This roast is gonna be nothing short of delicious. As I said earlier, just like an Italian porchetta. And our gravy is extra thick. Looky there. Oh, there's a nice little piece right there. I'm gonna take that piece right there. Let me take this little piece right here, little end piece. I'm gonna put a little bit of gravy on there. Oh, oh my! Oh, look at look at! I don't. I, you don't even need a knife. You could tell it's just it's just falling apart. No no knife required. All right, let's see. Taste test. Mmm. Oh my goodness, folks. Mmm. Give me a piece of that fresh Italian or homemade bread with this pork roast, even to make a nice sandwich or with my focaccia recipe. Nice focaccia sandwich with this too. Amazing. Yeah, no, no knife required. This, folks. Mmm. It is so good. And that gravy, very, 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 very flavorful. Absolutely delicious. Mmm. And the beauty is very little effort. Prepare your roast, put it in the oven, walk away. Take it out, tent it, make your gravy, you've got dinner. Wherever you're tuning in from, folks, I want to thank you ever so much for spending time with me in the kitchen today. And as always, until next time, bon appetito. I sure hope you give this recipe a try. Really is delicious.